Enough Pirlo. Now let's go to somebody who might one day emulate Andrea Pirlo's um, victories. That's, of course, Jaden Sancho. Uh, we're joined, uh, as promised, by Jan Agafjortov. Uh Jan, I'm going to get straight to the point. This is a, one of those transfers that's promising to uh, dominate this summer. Uh, Borussia Dortmund had fixed a price for him. We were told it was 120 million euros. They'd also fixed a deadline, August 10th. Today, as we speak, is August 10th. What's going on? What is going on is that, like you said, the management of Dortmund have said, if if the player is on the plane going to our training camp, he will be Dortmund player for the next season, which is their deadline. And for some fans, then, well, well, the deadline, the transfer deadline is so much later, and nobody believe you, Dortmund. But Dortmund have put the deadline on him. So w- w- what I said yesterday, that either you will have someone lose their face or someone will lose a player like Sancho, could not go to Manchester United if they're strict on it. What we do know this morning that on the airport, on the private jet, going to Switzerland, Sancho was on. Sancho was on his way. Dortmund will speak to to the press later. But do I think that Sancho will leave still if Manchester United could offer a package of 120 million euros? Yes, I do. But for Dortmund, they had to put him on that plane. Uh, They have a good dialogue with the player. So that is not a big, big surprise that Sancho is going to the training camp. But I guess you don't mind losing face if you get 120 million euros in cash, right? Well, there is not. It's like a package. You know, it's the same thing with Harvard at Leverkusen and in Dortmund with Sancho. They both planned this summer, they wanted to have bidders in. Then something happened called COVID-19. And at the end of the day, now for Manchester United, the only one who is in there would have a realistic target to, to pay that amount of 120 million euro. We are talking about 70, 80 initial fee and then installments coming up to 120 million. That is Manchester United. And Manchester United, I mean, Manchester United need a player that can excite the fans. Uh, Manchester United did a great end to the season, but Ole Gunnar Solskjaer knows he was a part of that team, a team that excites people all around the world. I mean, they have one or two players with Greenwood, Rashford, Pogba on his day that can excite people, but Sancho would be a perfect match for Manchester United. Hey, sorry, just a clarification here. You said 70, 80 million plus installments. Um, do you mean installments or do you no, mean bonuses? Bonuses, bonuses yeah. Because if they're installment from a boring financial point of view, um, you can book it as 120 million if that's what they add up to. If it's bonuses, obviously it's going to be contingent on many things. Is that the sticking point right now, as you understand it? Well, the thing is, when Dortmund, at the time when they said, we let you go, my friend, for 120 million euros, they hoped that there were a lot of bidders in, meaning that they could go for the guys who will come up for the cash. But it's normal in, in most uh, transfer fees or transfers packages that they will pay an initial fee, say that is 70, then 50 is lacking. So maybe next year, 25, the other season, 25. Yes, Manchester United will try to put that into Champions League or whatever, but Dortmund on their hand will say, well, maybe you don't get into the Champions League. So we want that a fixed thing to be paid at this and that date next season. So so I think that at the moment they are discussing these kind of things because Dortmund is a public company. We, we will know the transfer fee. And Dortmund, after Dembele and Aubameyang, which went to strike to leave the club, it's very important for them that this one gets right. And just mind you, Sancho has been doing fine. Sancho has said nothing. There are no agents who are doing their loyal lack of loyalty in the media. So, <laughs> so far, so good for Dortmund. I mean, this is part of the negotiation anyway, right? It's, it's the way Dortmund can put a bit of pressure on United. This is it's still quite friendly. It's not like we will never speak to you again after August the 10th if you don't give us the money and if we don't have an agreement. I'm sure they did the same with Usman Dembele and he still ended up going to Barcelona. So, but As Jan said, though, I think this is the key, though. In both Alba and, uh, and Dembele, you had a situation where they went out and they essentially forced yeah, their hand. They to go on strike. To f- Who tells you that in three weeks' time, Sancho's camp is not going to say, come on, we've had enough now. Let's, let's sort this move out and we want to go. Sancho has been a, in agreement with United on the personal contract for month and month now. This is all sorted. It's just between the two clubs. And the, right now, 
Sancho and his camp are not angry. They still believe that talks will continue and that maybe they find an agreement. But in three or four weeks, when the, when the transfer market will still be open, maybe that would change and maybe they get a bit upset and, and start losing patience. Is that what it would take, Jan? What's your take? I mean, what, what is the likelihood that the transfer window closes October 5th? It's way, way away. If we get to mid-September, is there a scenario where Sancho tries to force a move by maybe picking up, you know, phantom injuries and stuff like that? Well, it, well, it, it's an analyze how this will develop now. If I spoke to people quite close this morning, uh, I'm not saying that just to say it, I, I did. And I talked to them and I said, if the management of Dortmund will be sensible, say it's reported, and I believe them, that Sancho wants to go home. He wants to go back to his home country, fair enough. He wants to go to Manchester United, fair enough too, because that's the only club that can kind of take him home. And Manchester United at the moment, they are challengers and so on and so on. If the management with Sork and Vatske, knowing the situation with uh, Dembele and Aubameyang, what would you do? You would go to the player, tell the player, if you act sensibly now, if you don't do any stupid things, any comments like uh, the agent of Lewandowski did in, in back in the days of Dembele and Aubameyang, we will let you go. Okay, the player will keep his mouth shut they will do the sensible thing he will train hard he will be in good mood as everything is reported he's perfect in training he will do that and but what will happen if he realized that he won't be able to go that is the next step of the deal so on the other hand manchester united this thing that they are kind of telling the english press that we want this we, we are not that keen on this player we want we, we won't go all the way. The thing is, Dortmund are serious that they would like to keep the player. So and we have to put that into the, the whole analyze. They say he's on 6 million euro now. We can put him on 10. We can do him a fantastic, good, play, play, well played player. That is not only a strategic move from Dortmund. They are serious. They want to keep Sancho. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.